Hey, what is going on everybody? Scott Game in here, thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we are playing some of the Hunter Call of the Wild. Uh, we're in the, the Lake District, not the Lake District in uh, in the in the UK. Uh, quite different. I think this must be in somewhere like Canada or North America. Um, we've got a mission to do, so for those of you who don't know, I've played this game a few times in the past. Uh, mainly multiplayer, but I thought we'd give this a little go. So uh, we're going to investigate some bears after... Having his stores ransacked, uh, Hope is in need of supplies for the winter season. Food is scarce and Hope is uh, suspects um, bears are scaring away the black-tailed deer in the region. Uh, he's asked us to investigate. We need to identify three different bear tracks. I don't really know where bears will be, but I've come, come to Hope's camp. Uh, and what my plan is, is to walk from here to this waypoint here. Um, and hope that we, we stumble across some bear tracks, really. Ouch, that bird was really loud. Um, this game is incredible. I'm not really one that, that necessarily agrees with hunting. Hunting, um, you know, I've, I've never done it, so I can't really add too much to the whole debate, in all honesty. Um, do I think I'd be able to shoot a deer in the face? Um, I don't know. I'm genuinely not sure. Um, I get the feeling that it would be exhilarating. I really do. But at the same time, the flip side of that, I get the feeling that uh, it's just a little bit cruel. You know, eating animals, fair enough. You know, generally, they're bred for that. Um, you know, eating to survive, I think that's fair as well. Um, what we got? Black bear already. Holy crap. That was a warning call. Let's, um, let's have a little look at what we've got. I probably need to put some guns into into slots let's take that and then let's take that because we need to do something with with bears as well with uh, deers as well I get the horrible feeling that I'm going to walk up here and there'll be a just a massive bear standing right in front of me which I'd hate and we only need to investigate their tracks but Know, to kill a bear on YouTube would be fun, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? So we're going to approach with caution. My assumption was, not knowing anything about hunting really, or wildlife, other than what David Attenborough has taught us, is that the bears would be in the big trees near the mountains. I think that my whole knowledge of bears... My whole knowledge of bears, that's a moose. My whole knowledge of bears might have come from Red Dead Redemption. Um, that, that moose scared me. I thought I'd, thought I'd not paid attention and a bear was standing right beside me. So you can die in this game. Um, interestingly, any animal will do damage to you if it runs into you. Um, which I guess is fair enough. But earlier I was playing it trying to record a video and I was, I was doing it on the first... Um, map which i think is sort of deer sort of germany or somewhere like that um and there were some deers stuck on a hill so i thought you know what i'll just go up and give it a little prod uh, maybe i can help it um maybe i can help it wander off but nope couldn't do that um i don't like the idea of going into the how do i know what that is that's a moose still it's up in it that moose is in the tree um so a few things just to point out. First off, this game is incredible in terms of the foliage. Look, I mean, it doesn't look like much, but if I turn around, you can see where we've been walking. That's the same for animals. So um, when we find tracks, we'll be able to trace them from the foliage being de decompressed. Um, I guess that's the phrase. Um, so that's pretty cool. The right-hand corner, we've got the wind. So you can see the wind is blowing... Uh, from east to west that means our scent is going that way as well so anything that's over there including the bear which i think is what which honked at us from over here um is uh, is gonna know we're coming bottom corner bottom right hand corner you see the little sound thing that's the noise we're making you'll see if i stand still it stops entirely if i start walking again it starts making noise if i stand up i make more noise um if i walk through trees and branches make noise so that's pretty pretty cool the weather system is incredible as you can see 
Uh, it's, um, what time is it? Four o'clock. So we've only got a couple of hours left of, of reasonable hunting time, I would imagine. Um, uh, what else have we got in the bottom right corner of that? First, that second line, the line in the middle, is how visible I am. If I stand up, I'm more visible than if I sit down. There's a moose. I'm not looking for mooses. I'm looking for bears. Oh, damn it. Um, all that standing up was enough to trigger that moose to run off. I love it. It's so good, this game. Um, it's a little bit scary, I'm not going to lie. And then obviously your health, your stamina, your... Um, holding breath meter is the third option. I don't have any bullets. Just realised that I don't have any bullets. Ammo? I have a sight. All those things will help. That's a moose again. There was a bear around here. So we, we haven't got a... We haven't got a take on the bear, we've just got to find its tracks. And maybe going in noisy might be might be a better option. It might warn us, might flee, and that might give us more opportunity to find the tracks. Um, so maybe we might be better off doing that. Let's just keep wandering forward for now. And we'll see if we see anything. This I love. Look at us walking through this grass and the grass kind of compressing underneath our bodies as we walk. So good. So we could use our lure to try and lure the bear in. But that seems scary. Because I've got no idea where it was. Okay. I think this must be the moose tracks. But it'd be nice if it was bear. I saw it, but I saw it. Now it's going to be gone. No, it's still there, I think. I think it's there. Let's get over and check out these tracks. These definitely look like bear prints. Kill the black bears, please. Permission to shoot with the black bears. I mean, to be fair, we are completely downwind of it, so it's going to know we're coming. Well, this is tense already, isn't it? But we'll just stroll out here. We'll find some tracks. That'll be it. Now oh, I feel quite apprehensive now. I've seen a moose and a bear. Both of those two things could kill me quite easily. get into some ground where we've got a line of sight of that bear. Again, we could try and lure it in by pretending to be a deer, but that seems a little dangerous. I'm not going to lie.
So these must be the moose tracks. I'm not experienced enough to deal with a bear. Although all my guesses so far, oh look, different tracks here. Maybe this is a different bear. Yeah, so I've played this game quite a lot. I've never really played the missions, and that's what we're doing today. So we've got two or three. This bear was heading in this direction. I found myself in a position surrounded by bears. Is this a different bear? Or is this the same as the first bear? They're the same as the first. So there's some bear droppings here. This will tell us how long ago the bear was around here. Fresh. Oh god. There's a giant bear around here somewhere. Takes really big poos. How many bears are there here? I think the bear, the second bear was heading that way. There was one over there, we definitely saw it. There's so many prints around here. I don't know if these are different bears or the same bear. Guess that settles it. Oh, Jesus, no one of the black tails on the run. Got to give Hope some credit. His suspicions were right on target. Thanks for keeping a lookout. Right now. Hey there. I think it's time I told you about Jonathan Trampfine. He heard of your dealings with black bears in Belmont, so he wanted to know if you might help him out as well. Tramp Fine loves black bears. He's been living out here on the reserve for many years, getting as close as he can to the bears and documenting them. A little too close for comfort, if you ask me. Last couple of days, he's been trying to get a picture of a group of black bears that just arrived this season. He's had no luck, though. And he wondered if you would take a swing at it. He'd pay you, so it might be worth your trouble. But, how about instead I go and shoot this bear in the face? How do you feel about that? Um, so yeah, essentially, since we're so close to the bears, it would, it would be... I don't even know where to he's still begin talking, with Jonathan. Jesus. He probably feels like he's becoming one with nature out here. And I can understand that, of course. But he's walking a fine line. And I worry one day he might find himself on the wrong side. Everything was mainly heading that way. We're going to keep going this way. We know there was a call coming from this way. You've probably come across Stop the coyote talking. by now. We have a sizable population in the reserve. But the wildlife pharma control are constantly trying to keep it in check. Fiona Voiles is their operator in the area. And she's your go-to when it comes to the coyotes in this region. They could use some help with the population control. And there's good money in it, too. She wanted me to let you know that Gila Pass has seen an increase in coyote sightings lately. And that they're offering a reward to anyone harvesting coyotes. I think you'll need a coyote collar for this one. Okay, I'm on it. Not until I've shot this black bear. So the question is, do we try and bring this bear to us? Can I squeeze through this gap? I don't think I can. It's 
slightly worried that there's too many black bears. Now, is it a black bear I need to be worried about or a brown bear? In terms of what one's the, what one's the really aggressive one? Does it not make any difference? Okay, let's go with the old... See if this brings any bears towards us. Gonna need something with a bit more stopping power than that, I'd imagine. position just for a second. Slightly concerned by just the amount of foliage that's here. to lure a black bear to you is the wisest approach in all honesty. Don't know how many hunters do that. Okay, we're going to follow these tracks a little bit. I feel obliged to get my gun out for this. I just the idea of getting walking face to face with a giant bear just doesn't appeal. Be beware of the ambush. They could jump out of those trees at any point. From that ledge, they could jump down. I've seen Planet of the Apes. Could happen. And yes, I do understand that an ape and a bear are two different animals. <laughs> okay. More bear droppings down there. Problem is, this bear has been walking around in a circle, look. To throw us off the... Throw us off the scent. I don't know which way it's been going. Because it could have walked around here, and then looped around quite easily. I think these bear the way these ones going into the they're going in there as well oh god we're going to disturb two bears making love so it could have gone back that way for all I know We know we saw one this way, so this is the way I'm going to go. This is so silly. Chasing a bear. I don't even mind know if my rifle can stop a bear. Oh god, look. It's definitely down here. discovered. There was a bear having a sleep here. Eleven f until three thirty, you lazy bear. Okay, 
Was it oh wait? Was there tracks up here? Did I see? I don't know if I did. So I genuinely don't know if I'm going the right way or not. There's more bear droppings down there. That will tell us whether they're fresh or not. So tense. But I feel like to end this video we have to kill something and it has to be a bear now after all the bear talk. And the fact that we saw one right at the beginning doesn't help. We spotted it from miles away and now I won't spot one even if it's like standing right beside me. Okay, this isn't bear poo. This is something else. This is a moose I think. Moose droppings that are old, okay. okay. More bear tracks, no moose tracks. It's like a bear was stalking a moose around here. What way were you going? Into here. Again, we don't know if this was before or after it went back the other way. track. They're headed somewhere in this forest bit scared to go in because what I really want to do is spot the bear before the bear spots me I appreciate that's the whole <gasps> appreciate that's the whole point of hunting when you disappear Oh god! Ow! Shot it in the ass. Did I kill it? We got it down. 
Holy crap. That bear hit the living bejesus out of me. So, the other good thing about this game, that made me jump. The other good thing about this game is that when you check it, it'll tell you where you hit it. So, my first shot hit it in the lung. I was obviously aiming at the heart. Um, and then two more shots that went into flesh only. Ah, oh, Jesus, that's a loud bear. A bird, sorry. But, as you can see, we hit the lung. We must, look how close we were to the heart. That's what we were aiming for. It needed to be a little bit lower and a little bit more penetration and we'd have hit that heart. That's how close we were to a one-shot kill. Other options you had for going for the spine or the neck. Uh, obviously, we'll instantly pretty much down a, down an animal. Um, but uh, yeah, as you can see, this is this is what we've done. We could go ahead and, and taxiderm this and get this in our... Um, in our... Um, our hunting lodge. But I think what we're going to go for is... Um, is the accept and we'll take whatever cash and whatever else we get for it um so we've we've done that mission that's what we were out here for but we've killed a bear which i feel a little bit guilty about now um i think we're going to head back to this way and wrap this up get back on our little um our little bike and, and head out of here um this has I think that was me making that noise rather than anything else. This has been the Hunter Call of the Wild. Um, if you've enjoyed this, you're going to have to let me know. Um, we'll maybe do some more. Uh, if not, uh, please let me know as well in the comments. Uh, any tips as to how to be a better hunter, then let me know. Uh, this is the kind of game that I, I've literally spent about three hours just trying to get any kind of content out. So you'll have to let me know what your thoughts were on it. Um, if you liked it, if you didn't like it. Holy crap, there was a bear right here. There was a bear right by his camp. Maybe putting up this little this little thing might be a wise idea. That, that's a moose. Okay. There's literally bears everywhere. So you, what you can do is you can come around to this thing and you can... Uh, that made a lot of noise as I put it up. Okay. So you can enter here, and then you've got this little area just to sort of chill out in. Shoot any bears that walk past. I mean, granted, the roof is a bit of the wrong height, but you can sit in here. You can get your little deer cooler thingy out. See if you can attract a bear. And then shoot it in the face when it comes on. Um, this has been Hunter Call of the Wild. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully uh, you've enjoyed this. Um, I'll try and edit it in such a way that doesn't have me just wandering around for hours, but I don't know how that's going to work um, because I've been wandering around for hours. Um, please hit the like button, subscribe button. Follow us on Twitter at Scott Gaming. We will see you all again soon. Thank you.